Okay, so after that long cutscene, um, I'm actually gonna change my, um, uh, my camouflage real quick. The face. Um, what have I got? Yeah, I got all these country face paints for some reason. I have no idea how I got them. I can't even remember if they were part of the game or not, but I think it was after I completed the game once I got them, but... Anyway, I'm going to switch it over to Woodland for my face paint, and as for my uniform, which one gives out the most? So far it's the leaf. Yeah, I'll equip the leaf. That should work. Okay. Now, it might take me a little bit to get used to the controls. Oh, hello, Snakey. There we go. Okay, um... Now this Metal Gear is actually known for its, uh... Hidden items and stuff like... Food or weapons or thermal goggles, you know. I'm gonna try my best to find, um most of the stuff within a level, because I know there's like a few weapons in certain areas of the place and whatnot. Okay, I, I remember, yeah, this place has crocodiles. See that little bastard right there? Make sure you don't get too close to him. He's already excited to eat me. There's a crocodile in there too, I, like somewhere right there. And, okay, there's a grenade right there. Oh yeah, you see what I mean? Little bastard right there. There's another one right there too. You can actually put him to sleep. Um, put that one to sleep. And move quickly through this mud. Don't stay in it for too long because um, you will sink. And I know there's more stuff over there on that island, so I'm gonna go get that. Mark 22 ammo. Hey, Mr. Crocodile. Yeah, you doing? I think I've gotten everything, actually. You know what? Let me see if um I have a map. Okay, I do have a map. Okay, there's only one area. So, I think I technically got everything in this area. Um, Alright, let's move on. And if you enter a first-person view like this, sometimes you'll be able to find stuff that's in the ground. So, like, little text will pop up. Oh, there's another snake. I should just use my knife to hunt game like that. Oh, there's another snake. Yeah, make sure you grab as much food as you can, because you're going to want to keep your stamina up. If you hear, like, little... Uh, bristles in the bushes and whatnot. Chances are it might be a frog or a snake or something you might want to pick up. Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. We can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The Uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the Face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. 
Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? Okay, so now we're going to encounter our first enemy presence up here, so let's just try to stay as low as we can. I know there's a sniper rifle, and here's some... Okay, it's bug juice. I... There's some thermal goggles around here, too. But, um... I know I'm not supposed to engage the enemy, but sometimes I will have to knock him out with the uh, tranquilizer. Okay. Um. As a matter of fact, let me. I, we all know I've already changed my camouflage, but what if it gives me some more options right now? Nope, nothing right now. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Um. I will knock out this guy, what the hell? Yeah, make sure you do keep your eyes out because sometimes whenever I'm playing Metal Gear I make the mistake of assuming that's the only person there, but to tell you the truth, it's not. And that's how I end up getting caught. And there is a way to drag him, but I forgot how you do that. I can't even um... I'm trying. <laughs> I'm really trying. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. I've seen people do it before, it's just that I don't know how to do it. They make it so complicated because there's like a lot of controls for this game. I know there's like at least four enemies in this level. Yep, somebody already saw me. Better get back in the grass. I really don't like how it does this and um it goes in back in the first person view every time I enter the grass when I'm crawling. I kinda don't like that. Alright, he's going back to where he was, so... I know there's another guy that patrols around here, so I better be careful. Hopefully this series doesn't turn into one big disaster where I get caught a bunch of times, because I really hate that. I know a lot of people aren't going to like it either. And there's something in the grass right here. Oh, it's a snake. Again. Stab that little bastard. And beware, uh, when your stamina is low, your start your <laughs> what am I saying? Your stomach will start growling, and then people can hear that too. So make sure you keep your energy up. I'll knock out this guy. Yeah, there's something in here. More Mark uh, 22 bullets. I think there's some thermal goggles in this log right here. Or is it more bug juice? Or it might be that sniper rifle I was talking about. If I can even get in there. There we go. Yep, thermal goggles. These are really coming handy. 
They visualize heat source and allow one to see in the dark. It consumes battery power when used. Uh oh. Huh. Guess I'm seeing things. Yeah, let's assume that you are. I have no idea where that guy is. Oh, there he is. I see him. Okay, that was a bit of a tough shot. Lucky shot, too. Just want to take this nice and slow. I'm actually supposed to go up that path on my right, right here, but... I want to collect what's here first. Okay, I think all the enemies have been dealt with so far. If I can remember, there was something, um... On this tree up here. Or I guess not. I, I guess I'm mistaken it for uh, leading to another path or something. Okay, well that's that. I guess I'll keep on going. Oh, you know what? Here's an ironic achievement. But, um... Yeah, every time you want to eat something, you haven't really registered it yet in your food, so it has no taste yet, and it has, uh, you don't have any idea if it's poisonous or if it's going to uh, kill you. So the snakes are actually pretty good to eat. Watch. Ah, <sighs> tasty. So it, it restores a good uh, amount of stamina, as you can see, and you get an ironic achievement called Snake Eater. And if some of you did not notice, there's an easter egg in the opening cutscene. Snake is wearing his pilot mask, and um, on the front of it, it says Metal Gear uh, Solid Snake Eater. Alright, this part has actually been twisting my balls since the beginning of time. Um, I'm trying to uh, knock that beehive down distract that guard so he can distract his other friends across the bridge too. There we go, there we go. So I've got to make this quick. It's sort of a chain reaction. If uh, you get that one guard to get stung by the bees, then his friends will get stung by uh, by the bees too when he's running. So I think that will cause him to run away and give us an opening chance to uh, get into the next area. But I'm not going to assume anything because, you know, there could be another guy or two laying around. And there's a hidden alcove down there. I'll get down to that in just a second. Yeah, there's some hidden stuff down here. I'm going to hug the wall and try to get it. Uh... Oh, crap. Almost fell off.
Yeah, make sure you don't fall off. That would be some shit, wouldn't it? Okay, I think that's the uh, sniper rifle. And what's this? Blah, 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 blah. And Mark 22 bullets, okay. So, got everything. Let's just get to the next area. Oh shit, I think they're back. I hear something. Taking it slow, of course. Yeah, shit, I think they're coming back. I hear them. Yeah. Shit, this is not good, not good, not good. Please go away. Don't make me shoot you. No one here after all. Oh my god. As soon as they're gone, I'm gonna make a run for it. Oh shit, there's a guy right there. Damn it. There, now I'm making a run for it. Screw this. Alright, oh my god, that was a close one. I was on my toes for that. Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. And do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. Alright, this part is actually tricky if you're not very careful, so... I'm gonna have to knock out, like, a couple guards or two. Um... Always stay hidden on this part, I swear to god. There's a lot of guards. I'm not actually gonna shoot that guy because, um, there's another guard close by. You can see him too. If he's laying down on the ground, I'm just gonna wake him up. My camouflage is pretty good right now. It's like a 70 if I'm out of the grass, so. They can only see me if I'm really close at that point. Oh, I'm gonna wait for him. There's something else in the grass over there. It's like a... It's probably another snake. Who knows? Oh, but you know what? I will knock him out when he's in the grass. That'll seem to help a bit. Even if somebody spots him, oh well. It's not really going to go into an alert phase. You're not going to know what the hell happened. Yeah, there's another enemy over there. He's not really the most of my worries.
Um, I'm gonna sneak into this brush over here. There's multiple guards inside the facility too, so... Oh, hello, Sneaky. I need your skin. Yeah, beware of the open holes in the walls too, you can crawl through to save yourself some time and even maybe detection. Um, I will sneak through this hole however, let me see. But sometimes it's never a good idea because there are a lot of guards in there and they will see me. I want to take out that guard that's over there. He'll show his face sometime today. Being very cautious of passing through that open wall because I know there's a guard around here somewhere. There's a lot of rodents under here. Might want to get out my knife just in case. Yep, you can eat so much as a simple rat too. What was that noise? Yeah, and they'll hear that too if you want to kill something. They can't see you from under here though, so don't even worry about it. There's a lot of snakes under here. Yeah, some guards above me are already getting freaked out. They don't know where the noise is coming from. You know what? I don't really... Like, the rats, they're not bad for you. They do restore some stamina, but not quite a lot. So they're like... Just use them as small substitutes. That's what I would do. I don't know. Yeah, I don't see anything. But, hold on, he's going back to his position, so I have no idea where he's at. I think it's a guy in the building or something. What kind of, uh, camouflage can I use here? Well, the face paint should just stay the same. The outfit, however, needs to change. The desert Tiger seems to work well right now. It's probably because I'm under the floor right there. Well, let me get out my gun. I know there's a guard around the corner there somewhere. Yeah, there he is, a little bastard. Trying to see what his move is gonna be. Okay, um. I think he does come back here, but he has to patrol the alleyway. I will get on the floor right here, though. Just in case. I do wanna knock this guy out. There he is. The easiest approach to get to Sokolov is actually through this ladder right here. So make sure you be careful when you get to the top because there will be a guard uh, somewhere below trying to um, patrol and whatnot. Got myself a bird to eat later. Take that one too. Yep, there he is. Yeah. 
Who's that? What the? Yep, see, that's what I mean. Oh, my cage is full. Well, I'm just gonna wait for the alert to go down real quick. It's not really a big deal. Damn, they're throwing grenades already? Alright, well, you know the drill. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward it for you guys so you don't have to wait through all this stupid stuff. But the, um, the general, I think? Admiral, whatever, he did say that not to approach the Sokolov in an alert manner, so... I think if it's in a caution phase, I don't think it's gonna matter that much. This is HQ. What's wrong? Patrol here. We've lost sight of the intruder going into high alert. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. The enemy's here! You must be Sokolov. Are you one of Vulcan's men? You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. <laughs> Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Volgin of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him.
He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process so it would seem. Volgin will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I managed to get past them. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. This is the legendary boss. Huh?
we meet at last. You! You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh. What's a crew soldier doing here? Soldier? He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. And don't you forget it. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. And Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? Can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. Another one. Testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you, huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You f 
filthy American dog! But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, are you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. <laughs>